the new administration in 2015, the short-term plan was to do a lot in the area of traffic management and of course uh, BRT as well was medium to long term and of course the, the, the light rail. Uh, so the intervention in these areas include junction improvement, you know, a number of roundabouts, especially in Lekki Axis, all right, we have nine roundabouts here and it was really a problem for uh, people living in this area, you know, uh, in between Abramadis and the, the Lekki Toll Gate, people could spend two hours, three and a half, I mean, three hours, you know, two hours on a daily basis, you know, commuting within these nine roundabouts, you know, which was totally unacceptable. So one of the things the government did was to commission a study and, of course, to get removal of these roundabouts. So six of them were removed and the traffic uh, was, the travel time was reduced from about two hours to 45 minutes. You know, in some places, even 30 minutes. So, and people felt huge relief you know, as a result of this. And then in addition, the number of labor is bus stops, pedestrian bridges that were introduced in different parts of Lagos. Yeah, and this become quick point, you know, that helped to ameliorate the traffic situation massively. So a number of these interventions, you know, were introduced in different parts of Lagos, labor is bus stops, pedestrian bridges, you know, and the junction uh, uh, signalization. And in addition, also, this is the ambitious bus reform project that's going on in Lagos. Uh, so the whole idea is to reflect, again, uh, downfall completely, you know, uh, to take them off the street and then introduce brand new buses, air conditioner, you know, so to make journey and travel more predictable, comfortable, you know, and accessible for the people. And the ambitious plan is actually to refleet all the buses within the city with about 5,000 HOV buses in the first phase. The way it's going to operate is that the government is going to license operators, all right, who are going to operate these buses. And of course, government is giving them some incentive, including some helping them with some financing of the buses as well, you know, so that the right standard of bus can be actually brought to bear on the transport reform. And government is also providing infrastructure. Okay, but you see, ultimately, the operators are going to take responsibility. So what government is giving them is actually like a seed uh, 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 capital for them to start up. It's, the, it's going to be incumbent on them to then expand the bus scheme all over the state. And that's the intention. So, and then government is looking at you know, licensing very few and manageable number of operators so that it can benefit from economic of scale. You know, part of what the, the intention is also is to be able to set up assembly plant in Lagos. Because, you know, as you know very well, you can't just operate and buy buses without buying the maintenance. You always have to buy the maintenance as well. So if you are going to invest in the five, 10,000 buses for the whole of city of Lagos, so part of the plan is to say, look, we as well have an assembly plant here so that we can provide on time and very good uh, technical support, you know, to the, to the buses I and mean, to the assembly plant as well. So with combination of these two, which is the um, traffic interventions and bus reform project and the BRT, will definitely improve mobility in Lagos massively in the next one year. And that is all well and going as we speak. A lot of them has been financed, of course, by Lagos State Government, again from the IGR. And what we tend to see is that as government implemented a lot of this project, uh, people are encouraged to pay more taxes because they see, can see clear benefits and direct benefit to them, uh, to their mobility. You know, they are spending less on fuel. Uh, for instance, the economic study that we did on Lake Airport, when we did the cost benefit, and we realized that, look, uh, it's saving the Lake region about 87 billion naira a year in terms of fueling, in terms of travel time, you know, time value of money that we did, actually did studies before the junctions were removed, the roundabout were removed, and after they were removed. And we came up with the fact that, look, over 87 billion naira is being saved every year, removing six of the roundabouts. So the economic benefits are quite profound. Mm -hmm.